Hello, what's going on guys? It is I, Deldre, and we are back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we met the Blue Lions and had our first taste of the new maddening mode with the mock battle. Which, by the way, was kind of BS. I thought it was supposed to be a free-for-all, but no! Everybody dogpile onto Deltre, but somehow we pulled through, regardless. Now, now there are about a million and a half different comments, a lot of which were very helpful, a lot of which were very surprised that we're doing maddening, and a lot of which were surprised that I haven't played this yet. Yeah, it was not exactly easy to not continue playing this in my free time, but I knew I wanted to do a playthrough and all that. So I decided to bite the bullet, and I think that it'll work out better that way. Now, now a lot of the things that you guys were saying in the comments was all really good information, but I also should probably say that I, I really don't want specific strategies or things to do or, you know, that sort of thing. I kind of want to do my own thing when playing this game, and I know that a lot of you guys were just trying to be helpful, and I wasn't very specific. But I don't need like a full odd strategy guide in how to beat maddening mode or anything like that. And if it's that hard, then I mean, so be it. If I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail, you know, nothing you can really do. But uh, I, I more meant that if you want to give uh, uh, corrections to things that I might say, like for example, if I get a mechanic totally wrong. So a lot of you guys, for example, explain how link attacks worked, and I thought that they would go off with any character, but no, you actually need to have a support with that character in order to get the link hit bonus. So making a correction for something like that is totally fine. On the other hand, if you're gonna tell me specifically how to build which characters, who to use, this and that, you know, it's just, it's just less fun. And I know that you're trying to be helpful, I know that you are, and again, I wasn't being very specific, but just keep that in mind, please. You know, no need to say, Oh, Deltre, you fool, don't you realize that if you train Mercedes in swords on the third month of the game, if the moon is full in real life, she can instantly defeat the final boss. You know, none of that, you know. <laughs> Nobody was really doing that, but just, you know, just to be clear. Also, some people had mentioned that maybe I want to recruit certain characters if I want to get all the side quests, or to get, like, harder to get side quests. For example, you guys said that I should probably recruit Gaspar because... You need to have Caspar and Mercedes on the same team in order to get a side quest leader. Because there's no way I'd really know that without just kind of happening upon it, you know? Unless the game specifically says to do that or something, but I digress. If the game isn't going to tell you to do something specific like that, then I think comments like that are also fine. And as far as the story goes, I just think that it's best if we can just follow this one simple rule. If it hasn't happened yet, just don't talk about it. It's really that simple, honestly. If we haven't got to that point in the story, then no need to bring it up. I've only ever got through Chapter 3 after all, so there's still a lot of game to go. And if you're curious about whether or not what you're gonna say is a spoiler or not, just use that rule, right? If it hasn't happened yet, then just don't talk about it. If something's gonna bite me in the ass later because I was unprepared, then so be it. That's how it goes, honestly. Also, I wanted to mention that yes, I'm still gonna be continuing the other playthroughs that I had going on. Just took a little bit to get things set back up and all that, but should be good to go on those relatively soon. I also wanted to give time for people to notice that uh, I'm uploading again, so as to not overwhelm them if they did want to watch, so keep that in mind. Now, normally I like to spend a little time at the beginning of the videos reading out some of the comments, and I'll probably bring that back for the next one, but for now, I, j I really just want to keep playing, man. I really do. I just want to keep playing, man. We're moving on to Chapter 2. And I already saw that some people were like, oh, we thought chapter one wasn't that bad. We'll wait till he gets to this one. So I'm kind of freaking out about this. I guess we're going to see what happens. Professor, I've been looking for you. Ah, Dimitri, what's up, man? I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both the victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? Let's do it. A victory celebration. I'm invited. What? I have no friends. Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. Yeah, Sylvain knows what's up. He's right. He really is. We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor. And that you were on the bench. Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, your tactics were nearly decent. Well, screw you, man. Yeah, if you, if you were really good, you would have been in seven turns, Deltre. Felix, Shut up, Felix. You really ought to stop picking fights with His Highness. Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. And I must agree that the professor's tactics were truly extraordinary. I have much to learn. Oh, sure. But today was exhausting. I'm so hungry I can barely stand. Yeah, it was so hard standing on the sidelines. Yeah, so am I. Let's head to the dining hall. Together. 
Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but you don't look too happy for someone who just won. Don't worry about me. I always look like this. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I understand how hard it can be to accept joy sometimes. I'm sorry for crying. Yeah, it's really hard to seem happy when you can't speak, so, you know. I know we only just met, so this may be difficult for you, but I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. Joy can be so fleeting, after all. We're all in this together, so I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the class feels the very same. Well, come along, Professor. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. Yes, Dimitri, let's. We can, we can share this fruits of our labor along with the dude's seeds. Well, that was Your nice. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I don't know if he really trained me well. All he really does is talk about trees. Uh, I did. I did indeed. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. The battle of eagle and lion. Now that sounds intense. Say, where's the deer in all of this? I'm glad I'm feeling a little bit left out here, not gonna you lie. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Right. Bandits? In a Fire Emblem those game? affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need. Regardless of social standing, students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with hmm. the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. Okay, Septad. What's your deal, I man? You sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Seriously, he's just so high and mighty. Oh yeah, I'd tell you now, but I think you're kind of dumb. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? I'm sorry, Sothis! God, get off my back! Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. That's right, Deltra. I'm always with you, always watching. Right. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless. Who is this guy? Distracted by something so trivial. This guy is intense, man. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. I mean, I don't think it's much of a stretch to say that this guy's gonna be important, right? But who who's the man behind the mask? I guess that's the question, right? His whole setup is just so intense, though. He's got the mask, he's got the feathers out of his, like, out of shoulder pads. This guy looks like a badass. Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? He has no experience. Are you listening to me? Hmm. How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Yeah, should have killed him when you had the chance, stupid. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Uh, damn you! That guy's crazy. So if he can teleport, why doesn't he just, like, slit my throat right now? Just gotta catch me when I'm asleep, and that's that, right? Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. 
All right, moving right along. So this should be like the... In honor of the oh, saints right. whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of I love this. And I, I love these tapestries, too. It's a very interesting stylistic choice, but I think it adds a lot. Definitely have that medieval feel, right? Ah, here we go. There are new places to explore in the monastery. And I get 2,000 gold. Hell yeah. I am broke. <laughs> 3,500? Are you serious? As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study. But this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short... This is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. So yeah, basically if we die now, that's it. We're done for you good. You will receive a message from the knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. This will be our first true battle. I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you, Professor. So I just thought of something. If the bandits are out there causing trouble right now, why are we going to wait until the end of the month? Seems kind of silly, don't you think? Uh, let's see... Uh, I'm a big concern. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, as am I. During the mock battle, your commands were thoughtful and thorough, as was your strategy. With you on our side, I'm confident we will prevail. I wonder if what he would say would be different Seems if you, like, screwed up really badly. Before our departure. Let's use this opportunity to prepare as best we can. Like, if everybody dies in the mock battle, is Dimitri like, Oh, I don't know if we should really be doing this, man. You kind of suck as a tactician. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? I think so, yeah. Seems I. Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? Yeah, you're kind of a loser, son. I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. <laughs> Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget, it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. Well, I think Dimitri's fought before. Right? Or, well, I, I guess we'll see. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try yeah, to Yeah, she says I'm she way too overpowered. And no digging for you, Deltray. I'm going to sit here on the bench. I don't mind you settling into your life here. Don't let your guard down. Ever. Ominous. Alright, moving right along. Looks like we got a birthday. Yeah, it's Annette's birthday. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Thank you. We'll spend the money on Annette. Probably not going to spend money on people I don't plan on getting. Although you guys did tell me... Oh, wait, hold on. The monastery holds events with various effects, such as those which increase the benefit of share a meal for certain characters. These events will appear on the calendar. Select explore on your day off to participate. Yeah, like I said, I did actually read all the comments on the previous two parts, and you guys did tell me that I might want to think about getting Caspar, because you need Mercedes and Caspar on the same team to get a to get a mission later or something like that. Do I have that right? A at any rate, I'll probably pick him up eventually, but he's going to be, like, low on the list, honestly. <laughs> Uh, also, you guys suggested that if I'm going to do the fishing, I should wait for a certain events. I, I guess like this, where where you get some kind of benefit for fishing. Like, if I, if I go to the calendar, you can see that a lot of these have no events. But this day has lots of large fish, so if I fish today, I guess I get better fish or something like that. Uh, and we are going to explore. I mean, it, it's our only option. We literally have to. The map screen, you can travel instantly. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, fast travel, basically. Okay, cool. Girl's voice. What could it mean? It means that I'm always watching you, Delta. Ah, Sothis, get out of here! Alright, so now. Let's do it. I'm probably gonna talk to, like, everybody, because, like, Professor, you know. <laughs> do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. I don't know. If I was older, I'd probably not want to think about it, though, to be honest. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Uh, view quest, all right. Request. 
A real battle this month, huh? I even hear the Knights of Cyrus are involved. I never talk too much about tactics, but there's a primer on it in my room. Give it a read. Starting with this month's mission, you can now lead a battalion into battle. Right, and I do remember these, kind of. I'm betting that they're going to be important on managing, though. Search for the tactics primer in the captain's quarters and peruse it to get up to speed. Aye, aye. I guess that counted for both of them. Yeah, Leone's got this thing for my dad, and I don't know how I feel about that. That's, I hear you've been tasked with hunting down bandits, right? Meanwhile, my class is stuck with a downright peaceful mission. Sounds like you'll be fighting alongside the knights, too. Don't let the monastery down, Teach. Don't worry about me, Claude. Hey, do you want to join my house? arrived at the academy, and we're already being sent out to take care of bandits. Seriously, I could use a better archer. I don't think that Ash is very good, honestly. Just looking at his bases. It is a noble mission, but one that will likely require battle. In practice, there is little difference between a battle and a war. And he barely has a personal, too. It's like, man, they really screwed Ash hard. Even with the support of the Knights of Seros, we must still brace ourselves for the challenge. Maybe his gross are really busted, though. I don't know. I don't even know what gross characters really have. I'm just kind of feeling them out still, really. Do you have any other questions about life at the monastery? Or about battle? Would you like a tutorial, Professor? Uh, would I? I think I kind of remember most of that. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> you guys told me that they, they actually did patch in the ability to, like, pet the animals. But it's DLC! What? <laughs> Nintendo, you geniuses! They knew exactly. Approach me. They knew exactly what people would pay for. God damn it, Nintendo! If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. Not a hell with that. Be my friend, to do. That reminds me. To the training grounds. I wonder if this is gonna be like an arena or something. That seems like that could be a thing. Like, come here to level up your guys, but probably use activity points or something Felix like that. Felix and I have known each other since we were children. His Highness as well. Though I should warn you that both Felix and Sylvain are a bit challenging at times. The moment I take my eyes <laughs> off them, they're off causing all kinds of trouble. It's always been that way. I don't feel like Felix is a troublemaker. I just feel like he's kind of a douche. But he's really strong. <laughs> Boar, Prince, and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal, nothing more. He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. See, that's what I'm saying. He's so much animosity here. But I, I kind of like Felix because he is a jerk, but at the same time, he's actually really good, so... <laughs> Like, it makes up for that fact. He is full of himself, but he's also every bit as good as he thinks he is. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Hmm, so what do I gotta do to get you? Here to cause some trouble? No? Oh, you know it. Well, whatever then. Seems this person isn't interested in Deltray's house yet. Caspar really values the following stats: strength and brawling. Right, right, right. You guys did tell me that. Yeah. So I gotta, I gotta level up his support. But apparently, apparently you can't get him a very high support level right now. So I guess I'm gonna have to learn brawling to at some point. Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, which is better, strength or skill? Strength all day, baby. It. When it's all said and done. Muscle always comes out on top. Yes, Raphael. You know what's up. Good to see you, Professor. Seems like this person hates Deltray. So I guess we'll have to wait for the Golden Deer to see what's going on with that dude. Trading heavy armor. What do I look like to you? Yeah, let's make my avatar an armor knight. Actually, apparently that works in New Mystery, but I don't know how well it's going to work on this You're quite game. powerful to have beaten us in the mock battle. Such a shame you aren't leading our class. I've heard your class is hunting thieves. That mission is very different from the one we were given. There's just something about Hubert, man. I really like this guy, though, honestly. His demeanor's kind of off-putting, but on the other hand, he reminds me of what would happen if you took Snape and then, like, gave him a middle school phase. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, look at him. He just he gives off that vibe, you know? I wish I could just do all the routes at the same time somehow. That'd be great. Everybody just seems so interesting. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato. That a commoner like no. me is here at the academy. Ash, why? He is the very model of chivalry. 
Someday, I'm going to be just like him. Well, with your stats, you're off to a good start, I'll say that. Sylvain, my man! Our first assignment is to take out some bandits. Did anyone tell Lady Rhea that people's lives are at stake? I lost my own brother to bandits. Is something someone has said at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, not my finest attempt at humor. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, does Sylvain even have a brother? Like, does he? Does he have any family, or is he just kind of his own guy? Oh, he does. He has an older brother. I don't think I pointed this out, but I really like these character sheets because they give you like a little breakdown of everybody's likes and dislikes and crap. It's just such useless trivia, but it's <laughs> it's just really entertaining to me. Like, I think Dimitri likes long walks on the beach and crap like that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Going for long rides. It's like a dating profile, man. I think the Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world. But we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the knights. I mean, I can't do that, right? Because the library has information on, like, every single thing in the world. <laughs> I think I only ended up reading, like, one of the one of the books in the library. Because there's, there's a lot of them, and they're fairly lengthy. But it's all really interesting stuff, too. That person sure does remind me of somebody. But I can't figure out who. I think I read about the crests. And who is that oh, person, Cyril? Do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. Yeah, this wall's not gonna stare at itself, I guess. God damn you, Cyril. Let's go, really? let's go up to the cathedral, I suppose. Oh, mm. Ferdinand, what's up? Do you up? know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time-consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. Oh my god, who is this guy? I'm not taking notes. <laughs> yeah, screw it. I'm not doing right. that. I will list the six great noble families. There's Kaspar's father, Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Geert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Iyer, the Prime Minister. Ah, no wonder he's so self-important. Okay, so his dad is, like, the president, basically. Okay. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. Okay, I look forward to that. That sounds like wishful thinking. You suck. Yeah. <laughs> Sure, yeah, I look forward to that. There is nothing I cannot achieve. Jokes on you, I was being sarcastic. Looks like there's a quest up here, though, I suppose. We should probably get that. What happened to the music? Oh, there it goes, I was gonna say. Here's an idea. What's up? I hear the Officers Academy of the Monastery? was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. I see, and so the church was central in that. Okay, because they are clearly very important. For what reason, I'm not entirely sure, but... I mean, I guess we'll just have to see, right? A favor to ask. Okay, I've been thinking about starting a choir, and I need a volunteer who can help me get it off the ground. Can you help me find some students who love music? Find out which students are passionate about music. Seems there was a sign-up sheet being passed around the dormitory seeking students to join the choir. Alright, let's do it. So we get that. I didn't really check the rewards, honestly. But we're going to finish it either way, so whatever. The cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. What's up, Mercedes? Oh, professor, did you come to pray to the goddess? Of course. Oh, me too. Shall we pray together? <laughs> I love Mercedes. Look, I can't help it, man. It's not my fault. She is a literal ray of sunshine, dude. It is dude. the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. I couldn't imagine hating Mercedes. It's like hating Silk. I'm not saying you have to like them as characters. I'm just saying that if you don't like them, you're probably a bad person. You know? It's just, it's just one of those things. Grass is green, sky is blue, and if you hate those characters, you suck. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? Not exactly. Didn't you just tell Mercedes? Yeah, I'm shut up, Lorenz. I'm not a devoted believer either. But it would be unbecoming for a noble like me to neglect his prayers, wouldn't it? 
The Reds actually seems alright. He is a noble and he's important, but he doesn't seem nearly as snooty as Ferdinand. You know, he's got like sort of an air about him, but he just seems a little bit more down to earth, I guess. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macul, Saint Keyhole, and... Hmm. Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? I thought they would... I thought there would be more, because I think that some of those are, are crests, right? Sikol, Indec... Now that hmm. you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. Yeah, let me double check that, actually. Huh, no, I guess I guess I'm tweaking. I thought those were I thought those were crests. Inside Maybe some of the other characters. There's a chapel dedicated to the fourth saint. Saint Sa Now that Yeah, 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 so death, just give me your quest. You. Uh, the Western Church which rules over the western parts of Foldland has lately made some strange troop movements. If you hear anything concerning, be sure to let me know. Collect information on the Western Church from Fortress of Teth. You may find an informant among the students in the courtyard. Leather shield, steel sword, and vegetables. Yeah, let's do it, man. And these are the statues, I guess, they were talking about. Statue of Saint Indec, one of the four saints. It is said that he was known for his wisdom and dexterity. Though unskilled in the art of human interaction, he used his gifts to help those in need. He was also an indomitable warrior who slew countless foes on countless battlefields. <laughs> yeah, he was the nicest guy you ever met, but catch him on a bad day, man. Statue of Saint Sethleen, one of the four saints. It is said that she was a beautiful and kind soul who was beloved by all for her empathy and her ability to heal severe wounds. She is the daughter of Saint Sekol. Saint Sekol, a statue of Saint Sekol, one of the four saints. It is said that he was a compassionate yet stern figure whose faith was so true he was able to perform miracles. He is the father of Saint Sethleen. And Saint Ma Masuil, Mac Macwell. Saint Macwell? I think that's what Sateth said. A s I'm gonna go with that. A statue of Saint Macwell, one of the four saints. It is said that his gift for strategy was unparalleled. He served as the chief tactician of Saint Seros and was a pioneering figure for and master of the magical arts. Very cool. Oh yeah, you can even get a good look at him. Oh man, I love this. Yeah, I think that takes care of our business here. Now, I, can, I should be able to just... Yeah, I can. I can just teleport. Thank God they added this feature. Alright, you. Looks like this is the informant, maybe? Even people from far off lands gather here at the academy. Word of advice, professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. Gain the dissidents intel. What was that just laying around? <laughs> All right, we got Manuela over here in the garden. What's up? Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. <laughs> anyway, do you know what that no good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess. I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some night he is. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Manuel. <laughs> Good lord. I can't believe she voiced Ash, too. That's Veronica Taylor. And you guys did tell me who, who Hanuman was. Dan Warren. And he's been in a lot of stuff. So he was... He was... He was a uh, Desai. Desai in Echoes. I think you guys said he also voiced Jetta too, which, if so, that guy had some range. And I think that the the one that most people would probably recognize him as would be Igor from Persona. So I thought that was pretty interesting. They definitely went all out for the voice talent on this game. Like, there's a lot of returning cast members, but then a lot of new talent too, all of which are very good so far, I have to say. Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Hmm. Tomas is like the librarian, right? So he's... He just seems like a minor character, I guess. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even he is voiced well. He's very convincing in his job. <laughs> I've got to find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. Uh, hopefully never. Didn't you blow up the kitchen How last time in net? Sir? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Spicy all day. Ooh, your tastes are so mature. I'll definitely remember that. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna keep you out of the kitchen, Annette. No offense. Greetings. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? Hmm. Honestly, too hot, right? Because you can, 
you can put more clothes on if it's too cold or like huddle up in blankets or whatever, but you can't do anything if it's too hot. And it's just so uncomfortable, uh, so definitely heat. You are many things, Professor. If you are not liking the heat, you should be wearing lighter clothes. But Petra, you fool, don't you see? That is my point. I can just take this jacket off, Petra. But if it's too hot, what am I gonna do? Run around naked? I don't think Seteth would approve of that at all. But Petra, she was very good, I think, because she had like crazy bases. Like, really high speed and good strength, but we're not getting her, sadly. Too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, <laughs> the ratio. Professor. Yeah, it's a two to one ratio. Eavesdropping on me. It is the optimal amount, well, after all. Everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred to a plateful of vegetables, regardless of age. What do we got over here? Would you kindly do something for another me? Another one, another quest. I'm fresh out of recipe ideas. Say, perhaps you can find some for me. Maybe a student or the library's cookbooks can spark some inspiration. Let me know, will you? Collect recipes for the head chef. The library has quite a few cookbooks with interesting recipes. You might even try your hand at cooking once you have permission to. Let's do it. Was I at the library yet? No, I don't think I was. Oh, some tea leaves. I guess that's for for the, the tea parties or whatever. <laughs> Interested to see what that's about. I can't imagine what the point of that would be, honestly. Oh, more stuff. Arcane crystal, hello. I think I might actually fish today, just because there's a uh, large fish, right? Oh, Professor, hello. Or like a large fish event or something like that. What's I was up, Dorothea? Just looking for my. Well, it's it's like a pale blue cloth. Have you seen it? Yeah, I think Caspar was rubbing his face all over it, but I don't feel like it. I'll just tell Manuel oh, to do it. Thank you so much. Push, oh, that got me supports. Oh, right, because she has a relationship with Manuela. Yeah, that would make sense. No, I was just trying to pass the buck, man. But I'm glad that worked out. Bernie! What is it? I'm not doing anything. Hey, what's this cake doing out here? Cake? <laughs> it's a trap, Bernie. Come Don't fall on. for it. That's just cruel. You need to come out, Bernie. You're going to become yeah. a god slayer. I, I can feel Sorry. it. I'm trying, but you're still kind of a stranger. Bernie needs strength and bowmanship. Well, we can do that pretty easily. Bows seem like they are good, <laughs> honestly, just because enemies are kind of scary. Like, not too, too bad, I guess, but if I don't have to take chip, I won't. Shamir did that? Yeah, Shamir. Okay, that's what I thought. But I got to get my seeds first. I'd like to do some gardening. Yes. Let's get to do seeds. Get a bunch of crap. I assume that's for, like, the... For the cooking or whatever. Is there anything in here besides Marianne? Planting seeds. A list of different seed types and how to best plant them. It's a wealth of knowledge for aspiring gardeners. Oh, we got experience for that. And some green flower seeds. Anything else? There's something over here too. Okay. Hey, more seeds. Cool. Those are three stars, so yeah, I should probably plant these ones, right? I assume that higher rating means better... Like, better something here. I, I, I don't know what half this stuff does, honestly. Marianne! Excuse me. Oh, Professor. Will you join my house, please? <laughs> Excuse me. I, um, I have to go. Sorry, Professor. I joined your house, but it's just that I hate you. Okay, so riding, I guess. I really didn't want to become a paladin, though, but. Have we met? No. Sorry. You remind me of someone I know. So who the hell is Shamir? Like, she looks way too important to just be a nobody. Who the hell are you? <laughs> She's just chilling here. Hooked on fishing. A sheet of paper with carefully... Ah, uh, hooked on fishing. I get it. <laughs> a sheet of paper with carefully curated information about different types of fishing bait and best tackle practices. Whoever wrote this knows a great deal about fishing and dad jokes. Okay. Oh, there's all kinds of just random crap. I assume that these... Hmm. A list of the different types of fish that can be caught in the fishing pond. It's downright comprehensive. I assume that a lot of these things are random because I seem to remember that... They're not always here. Like, well, I guess it could just be that it changes month to month, though, too, I, I suppose. I, I guess we'll figure that out real quick. Wow, almost completely bypassed this. I'm glad that it tells you on the map. Like, did you see that glowing spot where I'm standing right now? That's because there's an important item there. And it looks like that was the choir sheet we were looking for. Okay, okay. And this is exactly why I didn't want to talk to everybody on the first, uh, uh, on the first part. Because as you can see... This takes quite a while. It's really engaging and everything, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's almost kind of overwhelming in a way, truthfully. You can spend so much time not playing the game, you know what I mean? 
and just going around talking to everybody, seeing everything there is to see, admiring all the little details and stuff. Like, I seem to remember that sometimes there's wyverns and pegasus just flying around. I guess that we can't see that from here, but I know in some places they were, and I thought that was such a cool thing. Let's see more items. And we gotta talk to your boy, Cal McCarley. Nothing to report. Are you settled in here? The gatekeeper. Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Tell me about it, man. I feel like we've been at it for like an hour and we still haven't even fought like yet. Fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. Well, if Calvin Carly wants me to do it, then I have to. What? Snorita. I wonder what his deal is, because he's just so standoffish. It's hard to imagine that he's a teacher, honestly. Could you imagine trying to get anything done in this guy's class? I look bored. Care to duel? A duel? To the death! What? I just wanted to spar. Oh yeah, that's true. You guys pointed out that in some of the like the more open areas like this, you can hear this echo effect when people are talking. And yeah, I really heard it with Yuritsa's voice right there. It's such a silly detail to include, but I'm glad they did. Accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. Yeah, do you hear that? If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. That's so cool. It's realistic, for sure. Hey, Eloise. Oh, professor, how are you today? Man, I hope he is good. I hope Eloise is good. I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. I feel like he's probably recruitable, and he would just... It would be so disappointing if he sucks. Good luck, I man. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. This is what I'm saying. He's always in such a great mood. It's hard not to like this guy. Hello there. A moment. Who have we missed? Hilda. I'm bored. Maybe I should go into town. But that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Yeah, you look so busy, Hilda. Ah, you can tell? I suppose being a professor has taught you how to ferret out time wasters. Yeah, I'm onto your shit. Uh, what would I need for Hilda? You look like you want to say something. Not that but I'm getting her. I'm just curious. Lecture me, I'll pass. It's not like I'm one of your students. Not yet. Uh, charm and axe. Yeah, that seems kind of chance based. I don't know how I'd really raise my charm other than luck. Did I get everybody? Hey, we did. Cool, cool. Now the nice thing, I guess, depending on your perspective about that, is that, as I recall. Uh, the conversations don't actually change from week to week, only from month to oh, month. Savior. So I only have to Thank do this you. once, really. Thank you for your assistance. I'm sure there are more music lovers around the monastery, so feel free to invite anyone to participate in choir practice. I'll make all the necessary preparations when the time comes. Alright. We got a bunch of... A bunch of fish, <laughs> basically. She's just carrying that around, I guess. I don't know if I'd really want to eat that. Depending on how long it's been out here, you know, probably went bad. I don't really know if I want to do the choir, though. I feel like I really should focus fire on uh, increasing motivation as much as possible. Oh, right. It, it was Seteth. I'm looking for Seteth. Inside the cathedral. Saint. Saint. Now that. Not you, Flame. Come on. You have my thanks. So the rumors are spreading. Still, it may be ill advised to move against fellow followers of the faith. Even so, this is good information to have. I thank you. And I thank you for that steel sword and leather shield. Hell yeah. No idea what Renown does, though. <laughs> Don't know how much choir practice really does for me. And I can really only do that with certain people, right? Only people who have an affinity for choir, <laughs> right? So, I should probably... Yeah, I should probably just do the mess hall, at least as long as possible, because it's motivation and it's uh, professor points. The tantalizing cookbook. Cooking recipes to make you hungry just reading them. Let's probably help out the head chef. Looks like there's one over here, too. Illustrated cookbook. Cooking recipes with illustrations that make them easy to follow. You feel that even I, even I, could cook with this. Diltree must be a microwave kind of guy. I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. Tell me why Ignaz looks like Harry Potter. Uh, you can learn so much from books. They're brimming with the knowledge and experience of our ancestors. Man, that's like two references in one video. This must be the Harry Potter episode. Uh, I feel like Ignatz is probably good. Didn't he have... Wasn't his skill, like, hit plus 20 or something like that? 
Which, if the first battle is anything to go by, that seems like that would be very useful. Swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume. And over here we have Lindhart. It's absolute bliss. How Shouldn't you be napping somewhere? Who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? Hmm. <laughs> well, we know we're not recruiting him, so. <laughs> I guarantee there's just like some hardcore Lindhart fan like, oh, why does Zildra hate Lindhart? I don't hate Lindhart, I just like picking on him. <laughs> Leave me be. Hanemon. work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. That's to say, huh? And bearing the unknown crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. You know, now that I think about it though, I really hear, I really hear the fact that he's Igor from Persona. Like, I didn't, I didn't beat any of them. <laughs> I played a little bit of four, but I definitely hear that one. This is like the same voice practically. Your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. Air Persona 5 is really good. I wonder if he's in that. That's one of those games that I feel like I should play eventually, but like, man, that's a commitment. You know? <laughs> uh, here's the tactics primer. I chose some knights to help you out. They'll be deployed in your next real battle. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of them. Aye, aye. Got Gerald's Mercenaries, Church of Sarah Soldiers, and one more that I couldn't see in time. Oops. Access the items menu to use store, take, or swap items. Da, 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 da. Zanado, the Red Canyon, is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the okay, Church that's are forbidden from entering without permission. So the bandits have taken over this holy ground, essentially. And we're just going to leave them there for a month. Go okay, man. around in there, causing trouble. Those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. Well, we'll just have to teach them a lesson real quick. What does Rhea have to say? Thank you for paying me a visit. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can help you with? I wonder if the students are talking to me about the teaching of Saros. I'm actually kind of curious about this the Saros business. Their lives by her sacred wisdom. Please use the library's vast resources to learn more. Well, I, I could have figured that out by myself. So, if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate. Yeah, I need to know more about Saros. That's what I asked. Come on, Rhea, work with me here. Good lord, I wonder if it's gonna be like this every single month though. Like that is—that's a lot, man. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. All right, so we knocked that quest out. Get some more fish. Got the bear. Oh, good. Bernie's an excellent cook. That's exactly what I wanted to see. This should give support points, I imagine. Uh, the Discord Bear's Dig. Allies gain HP plus three for the rest of the month. That could be really good right now, so early in the game. Uh, Dex plus two. Nah. Luck plus two. Nah. Hell no. Hell no. Why would I waste my time on that? An Immortality Stew. Oh, this is more interesting. Defense plus one for the rest of the month. But I think we're gonna go with the HP plus three. That's just the best one, honestly. Sounds fun. Let me show you my cooking talent. And besides, how often can we actually get Bernie out of a room, anyways, right? So, <laughs> gotta take this opportunity while we can. Hey, no peeking. I like how she's pouting in her portrait when she says that. I'm not gonna steal your recipe, Bernie. Goddamn. Now, I would do the special, but what do you guys actually told me that somehow doing the special gives you less support points? I don't really understand that, but I'll take your word for it. Alright, so let's get Felix for sure, because he actually starts with E plus and bows. And I feel like bows are just great. I don't necessarily want to make him a sniper or anything, but I want to see what kind of bow skills he might get. And he starts so close anyways, I might as well get it up to D. And maybe Annette, because she has a uh, higher authority. Yeah, she has good authority, and I feel like authority is going to be important because uh, that's how you get better battalions, I think, right? Because they each have a they have a rank associated with them. Yeah, these ones are all E rank, but I imagine that the higher rank ones have, like, really crazy skills. Because I remember that stride one, which is just insane. So, yeah, they do. All the blue lines support one another, so I can do this. And they can get motivation maxed out. And we're going to have a tutoring session coming up anyways. So I want to make the most of that, basically. That looks appetizing. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? I did not. The two of you are much more motivated. 
Or the two you invited are much more motivated. I'm indifferent. And that's that's the day. Alright, moving right along. So this is gonna be our first proper procedure for lectures. I will tell you all that I know. <laughs> no, I think I got it, Dimitri. Okay, so the plan is as follows. And this time I know that you can actually use multiple sessions on the same guy. Or you can use all of their motivation on one person. And on, and it only costs one point. I think I remember struggling with that the first time, but I think bows for Felix. Makes sense. It was nothing. Oh, perfect, nice. It was nothing, he says. Hell yeah, praise. Good job, kid. Of course I got oh, and that gives him motivation back. So I get I get extra sessions then? Like more than four? Yeah, I have three more now, and I already used two. Another perfect! Look at this guy go! So yeah, his bow rank is about to increase. And I think I can even set it so that he learns bows. Uh, just as a weekly bonus, because you get you get these sessions right, and you could increase characters' skill proficiencies with weapons or like, or whatever, like riding, uh, authority, and I'm thinking authority for Dimitri, honestly. But yeah, you can you can increase their skill levels with certain traits, and then you also get an extra bonus at the end of the week based on what each character is learning, and you can only set two things for a character to learn at a time, if I remember. So. Yeah, I think we want to go with authority for Dimitri for right now. Or honestly, no, 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 no. Lances. Doesn't he get like a skill that might be useful? Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with lances. This will be useful. I think he gets like a horse slaying skill, right? If I remember. So lances for you. He must get it pretty early. <laughs> Either that or I'm making it up. But I think Dimitri gets some kind of like horse slaying skill, which seems like that might be good. And with Annette, I am just gonna go with Authority, I think, because she has she has a boon in it. That's what the up arrow means, right? So she gets extra experience for that. Whereas if the arrow is pointing down, she has a weakness in that, so she would get less experience. Right? <laughs> this is one of those things, if I have it wrong, you know, feel free to correct me. Yes. Oh, nice Annette. That is it, yes. Good job. I'll get the next one too. Hell yeah. And another one! She did! She really did! <laughs> oh, Annette! Oh, Annette! <laughs> oh my god, Annette! What a beast! And she- Ooh, Rally Resistance. Yo! So she gets rallies when I level up her authority? It's all coming together. Oh yeah, it's all coming together, she said. Thanks for your time. And a great to top it off. Oh my god, Annette is the model student. Did you see that? <laughs> oh yeah. That's great. So if she gets rallies when she levels up authority, maybe I just want to keep leveling up her authority. Maybe she's like a rally bot, I guess. Because she, she already has strength plus four. And she just got resistance. Rally man, <laughs> yeah. Rally woman more like. Okay. Maybe? I, I don't know. Maybe that's the only one she gets. But either way, I want to level up her authority because if she, if there's like better battalions that require a higher rank, you know, I want to have somebody that can use them, especially support battalions. Like that stride thing, that was crazy. I can't remember what rank that was, but so maybe like Lance's bows and do like a Kinji Knight type thing, or maybe Lance's authority. Because I feel like E-rank battalions probably suck. Yeah, we'll go Lance's authority for now. I think with Sylvain we might do the same. Cause I feel like these guys are gonna frontline quite a bit. Yeah, we'll go we'll go brawling and bows for you. How about that? I don't know how good swords really are. But I do know I want somebody who just goes around punching things to death, so we definitely want brawling for you. And he's about to level up bows anyways, so we can do that. What about axes and flying? Didn't wyverns use axes in this game? Or did I make that up? It's been a while. I can never remember because they change it like every other game, but I think they do actually use axes in this game. I deadass might put him into armor. I might put him into armor, honestly. Because you guys told me that uh, you get a bonus just for certifying for a class. So, like, if I if I certify him for general, no matter what happens with him, his defense will be crazy high. If I have that correct, anyways. Yeah, I think that's good. What's group tasks? Oh, right, right, right. So, you can assign jobs, basically. And I think we're going to do Skywatch for Sylvain and Ingrid, right? Because I can see them both... 
being flyers. Like, I can see getting Wyvern for Sylvain since he already has axes up to D rank. And Ingrid is obviously the, the Falcon Knight. Right? Assuming if it, Is Falcon Knight even in the game? I assume it is. There's Pegasus Knight, so that'd be kind of weird. Yeah, I think that'll do. Now, I'm not going to show this every single time. Uh, I have a question, Felix. Hold on. What do you have to say, Felix? Magic is not my forte. Being a gifted swordsman, I think my time is best served practicing swordplay technique. Why should I waste my time? I don't know why I'm giving him this voice. He, he, just, he seems like kind of an edgy kind of guy, but he seems cool, so it's like, I don't know. I really like him, though. Why should I waste my time? Yeah, I'm not changing the voice, though. <laughs> why should I waste my time attending lectures just to improve my magic skills from mediocre to average? You should step outside your comfort zone. Stop complaining. <laughs> now, see, this is the most teacher response. Shut up, Sylvan. <laughs> Shut up, Felix. You will do as I say. The bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. <laughs> uh, knowing magic will make you a stronger swordsman, though. I see. Yeah, that seems to make sense. Oh, he liked that one. 50 motivation. And all those professor points. Man, I wish that would have leveled me up. I really do. Annette would like to speak to you. Oh, what's up, Annette? Hello, Professor. Do you have a moment? <laughs> what if you could just be like, no, and end the conversation? Uh, well, of course. I have this book of battle tactics that I borrowed from one of the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? Of course. I am a master tactician. Leave it to me. Great. Thank you so much. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. Well, Dad did always say there's nothing quite like a good forest. Yay! I finally did Seriously, Geralt is just obsessed really with trees, I swear. Teacher. You're the one who did the work, and I'm always happy to help. You're the one who did the work. No way. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I just Look at me. I'm such a positive things. influence. That's why I came to the Officer's Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and, and, well... Martial arts? <laughs> Wasn't there like a, like a, or like a brawler class? Yeah, I could... <laughs> could you imagine a net running around Many punching people to death? my whole entire life. Speaking of, I'd better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before sword training. Yeah, <laughs> don't overdo it. It's like, I'm gonna master every single rank. S rank for everybody. It's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. I've never been any good at that. I have to have something to do. Like, kind of a busybody. I need to get up early and take care of the cleaning first, or I just can't relax. You know what I mean? No, I don't, in any, Yeah, not really. That's not me. Accomplishments is completely wasted. I mean, I agree with not that, yeah, but... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh no, did I leave the kitchen on fire again? I completely forgot. Sorry, Professor, but I have to run. Thanks again for your help. Put this stupid barrel here. Just jumps out of nowhere at you, huh? Nat? God. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> hey, and that maxes out our motivation, too. So I guess I don't have to worry about that. Hmm. So yeah, I'm not gonna show the next uh, instruction Ingrid. section probably. I'm not gonna get away with anything. Stop messing around and get moving. You don't work, you don't eat. Man, everything is voiced in this game. That's so crazy. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna show the next session though. I'll just show like the results, I guess, for the most part, because we don't need to see that every single time. You know what I mean? Unless I start doing something crazy, then I'll be like, hey, I'm gonna make, you know. Mercedes take up the axe or something like that. And I'll, I'll make a mention of that, but I'm not going to sit there and show every session. Because that would take a long time, and I I can honestly see myself being a little bit indecisive with that I'm sort fine. of thing, you know? So, Let's yeah, just for the sake of brevity, really. I'll probably huh. just see get to the important bits, finished. right? That's it. I'm done. No more work for me. Especially not with her. Not in a million years. Yeah, see, you say that, but she'll be out there again next week. So we get a good three smithing stones and 500 G. And some experience for flying, which is nice. It seems like the only way you can get that I is by tutoring, it. though. So that could be kind of a problem. Oh, we got curve shot. Yes. That's what I was hoping. Because I noticed he had an affinity for bows. So I, I assume that maybe he gets some decent combat arts for that. But that is exactly what we wanted to see. 
Raphael, nah, sorry, big dog. I need that money, man. Now next, I guess... Oh. I have to battle? I guess I have to battle. Yeah, I remember that you get this practice session with the knights or something like that. Uh, I was nearly better as so narrow available. How often you can battle is limited by your activity points indicated at the top of the screen. On normal difficulty, some auxiliary battles will not cost activity points. Spirits of the Fallen. If you head into battle while playing online, you may see spirits of those who perished on other players' battlefields. They are more likely to appear in places where death is frequent. Uh, well, I'm not really playing online. But you guys did tell me that. I, I think those give you, like, items or gold or something like that. Or do I have that right? Either way, I'm not playing online because I just... It seems like that kind of takes away. Seems like it kind of takes away from the experience a little bit. To me. All right, practice battle. So this is required, but I'm wondering if this you is going to be much harder. Commanding a battalion, Professor. I assume so, but if not, I'm happy to explain. Now these guys, where's the boss? He was like over here. Yeah, this guy. Now this is a joke. Four attack speed, seven defense. Two attack speed, only 14 attack. Oh my god, these guys are jokes. Are you serious? Wow, that's pathetic, man. Okay, well, if that's going to be the case, I think I'm just going to focus on getting experience for myself and Dimitri, first of all. Oh, right, what am I saying? He has this crazy thing. Yeah, Felix can just one-round them. Yeah, because he has seven attack speed. Yeah, he has seven attack speed. 20 attack, effectively. Yeah, so Felix just dominates these guys. Are you serious? He one-rounds all the soldiers. Let's get these Thanks steel lances so in rotation, I guess. Honestly, this looks way too easy. This looks way, way too easy. I should have... Oh, no, my focused. battalions are good. So, the thing of it is, right? I'll cut All I have to really do is just head hard right with these guys. Uh, Felix can just come up here, and he murders that. Like, he will kill three. It's going to be three up, three down. And he does not die here goes. to three hits. So, like, where's the challenge, I guess? <laughs> you know? Ready. Yeah, I don't know. Do I really need to show this? Because this is just, like... It forced grinding, it feels like, because watch this. Watch this. Felix, uh-uh. Don't mess with this kid. You are done. The Crest of Feldarius, not even necessary. Not needed at all. Because he's just going to mollywop four guys, or three guys right here. Yeah, four would kill him, three, he's fine. Yeah, we killed this guy with Dimitri very easily. <sighs> this fight was... This was a joke. <laughs> I mean, this guy was the boss somehow, and he's done. Like, look Each at that. A chance to grow. Experience at least. Yeah, I mean, he gave some experience, but at least I get boosted experience, quote unquote. But look at this. This is gonna be like ten points, is all. You're out of luck. Hey, it is a level up, I guess. <laughs> it's something. I like how this. Feels. Oh, it's something, all right. Oh, me too, big dog. So we just got two points faster, right? Because uh, weight is determined by. Uh, the weight of the item minus strength over five. So now he has two points of weight mitigation, I think. Yeah, because he went from three attack speed to five, just like that. Yeah, give it to Annette. Blow him away, Annette. Treat him like you treat the kitchen. Just blow him up, man. So that was the easiest fight of all time, uh, without a doubt. I, I certainly hope the rest of the game is a little bit more challenging than that. It feels like that is the exact same as hard mode, honestly. Yeah, I don't really see what changed there. I hope that's not what you guys meant when you said the next chapter would be hard. <laughs> I really hope so. Because that was just sad. Let's actually go with reason for Mercedes here. Thank you, oh, perfect. Yes. Yes. And hopefully she can get like a spell of some kind. Uh, yeah, she actually has full, full motivation. So authority all day, baby. Let's do it. Yes. Look at her go! At Yo! Thanks for she did just say she never wants yes. to let a day go to waste. And oh my god, she doesn't want to let her studies go to waste either. She's unbeatable. <laughs> Authority level two. To Dang, man, I was hoping for another rally. Yeah, I actually want to change Ingrid to lances and bows. You only get to two or three people at a time, though. That's hardly anything. St. Mackle Day is today. There'll be a hymn recital in the cathedral. Will you participate? Yeah, sure. Always love to work out the old vocal cords. Get a little bit of choir practice in. It is not guaranteed. Ash and Dimitri. Good, even if everyone sings earnestly. 
It is not easy after all. Am I doing all Jeez, right? man. I hope I'm not too off. Yeah, neither of us can sing, by the way. Well, <laughs> I did my best. I got authority experience for that, though. Cool. And professor level up. Yes, just barely. Look at that. Exactly enough. And that's great, because that gives us more activity points. Oh, and more points for instructions, too. I mean, that would have been nice to have in advance, but everybody's so low on motivation, I guess it doesn't really matter. And these things happen, like, every week, so I'm not going to show them every single time. It's all becoming oh, yeah, clear. skill level up. It's hey, all coming together. Here. Yes, fire spell. So she has an offensive magic spell now that doesn't suck, because Nosferatu is ass in this game. Dude, it weighs, like, 20. Well, not literally, but it weighs, like, 8, I think, which is insane. And it has one might, so like, what am I doing with that, really? Uh, we can do a seminar or we can rest. Well, obviously a seminar, right? Those you select to lead seminars will instruct others in areas of expertise. Higher skilled instructors grant more sp skill. Ex higher skilled instructors grant more skill experience to those who attend. People choose to attend a seminar based on how well the subject matches their skill goals. Those with high motivation are more likely to attend. Okay. Uh, the problem with that is that I feel like exploring is way more important, and this takes up all day, doesn't it? So, bows is definitely kind of tempting. Didn't Bernie need bows, so shouldn't I do this? Or I could do authority, though, too, and Sateth is probably a really baller teacher. Let's do Hanuman, because I have to get bows anyways. And I am working Ingrid and Felix towards bows anyways, so this might be a good idea. I can say, I don't really want Felix to be a sniper or anything, but... I might as well take the experience yeah, where we can get it, so. right? Oh, yeah, that was good. Man, if I would have focus-fired hardcore for Ingrid to get more bow experience the first time, if I had been thinking about it, you know? Uh, she'd probably have D-bows, too. And maybe that would have been enough to get her curve shot if she learns it. Mercedes' birthday? Oh, hell yes! No problem, Mercedes. It's always a pleasure. Probably shouldn't spend my money like that. I don't have a lot. <laughs> I just got word from the knights that the last of the thieves have been cornered. Just as planned. They're in Xanado, the Red Canyon. We certainly can't allow those underhanded thieves to get away. Let's work together and do our best to take them down. It matters Tell not who we're up against. They will not harm his highness. Yeah, like they're gonna get through you to do. We're just fighting common thieves, right? I don't expect much of a challenge. Yeah, God, did you see what he did to those knights? Finest night in the land. You Just like Sir Makalov. I'm actually quite excited myself. Who knows? There may even be some cute lady thieves. Oh my god, hmm. Sylvain. <laughs> well, at any rate, a real battle is a great opportunity for us to see how far we've come. True. The mock battle was a success. We'll be fine so long as we stay the course. Alright, break. Uh, so much excitement. I hope everything turns out all right. So much excitement. Perhaps we are a bit overly excited. But remember that we have the knights on our side. All should be well. Ah, and speaking of the knights, I heard that Gerald is once again one of the knights of Seros. Perhaps we'll have the good fortune of seeing you two fight side by side. Please, if Gerald joined the team right now, the game would be over. If anything, he's he's like a gado, probably. I would I would assume. This isn't a game we fought together many times. Fought together oh, many times. Of course. He's either a gato or he's not gonna make it through this game. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> In all honesty, I'm a bit jealous. My parents are no longer around. Yeah, because he he just screams like, like he's he's obviously important in some regard. But if he were gonna be a playable unit, he would definitely be the guy that shows up on the final map, for sure. With just like badass stats in every area. My parents are no longer around. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? They... they died. Both of them. I'm all that remains of them now. Ooh, that's rough. Anyhow... Yeah, I think I'm that it says that in his, uh, profile. I'd say it's nearly time for us to depart, eh, Professor? Alright, Dimitri, let's get to it. Apparently this battle is no joke. Mission 2. <laughs> Red Canyon Dominance. Your students have reached their first assignment. They're to accompany the Knights of Seros to the Red Canyon in order to help strike down a group of bandits. This will be their first real battle. And probably my first real battle too. Chapter 2, White Clouds. Familiar scenery, so Red Canyon dominance. Let's get it. Oh! Battle, are we? 
I am not sure able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. <laughs> I guess so. This is not a fire emblem bit. Oh, taking children into battle, are we? <laughs> wow, real courageous of you. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time, but no, this power is not infinite. Oh my God, that's great. <laughs> I don't think I caught that the first time around. Uh, press the ZL button during the player phase to trigger Divine Pulse. At the end of each battle, Divine uh, divine Pulse uses will be recharged. Okay. Alright, let's just see what we got here. Start from the top. I think there's more guys. I think so. But I mean, that's probably just standard, honestly, at this point. So we have Costas, the boss. Is this defeat boss? It is defeat the boss. Costas, okay. 23 attack, Iron Axe, 11 attack speed. Why is this guy also a god? Is there anybody who's just normal? Ah, these guys are not mortals. There's something else. They've ascended. Oh, we're seeing skills now. Hold on. This guy just has Axe level 3. Yeah, and when you guys brought up the fact that enemies tend to be a little bit dodgy around this mode because their Axe skills, or not Axe skills, but their weapon proficiencies are higher. And this grants them hit avoid and crit avoid, so it's something to look out for. This guy's not that special, but he has nine attack speed. Wow, seven attack speed on the Nosferatu guy. That's pretty crazy, honestly, considering how heavy it is. Ten attack speed on the the uh, the archer. He has bow range plus one. And what is this? Poison strike? Oh, it is poison strike. No. If unit initiates combat and lands a hit, oh. It has to actually connect in this game. A uh, targeted foe loses up to 20% of max HP after combat. Good! <laughs> I guess they thought it was a little bit too annoying in Fates, where as long as you had the skill, it would always activate regardless of hit. Huh. Yeah, it looks like these guys are pretty bad. What is this? Thief with 14 attack speed? Only 16 attack though, really, which isn't too, too high. I guess I might want to break out some shields. But yeah, 14 attack speed, that's pretty crazy, honestly. Yes, steal. I hope he doesn't steal all my good shit. Log touch. Sword prowess level 4. Look at that. 16 avoid, just like that. And pass? Why does this guy have pass? This is chapter 2. Oh, we're really doing this. This guy has pass 2? This guy has pass 2? Poison strike. Poison strike. Pass? Oh my god, why? Uh, this axe guy is actually a god. Nine attacks me, 22 attack. He's almost as strong as the boss. What is this skill? Lance Breaker Plus. Grants uh, hit and avoid plus 30 when using an axe against a lance user. Oh, Jesus. So it's like, the, it's like a super version of the weapon triangle. But as a skill. That's interesting. Do I get to use that, or is that just enemies only? How fast is Felix? Okay, so Felix actually doesn't get instantly murdered, because he has 7 attack speed. So that is really good. <laughs> That's really, really good, I think. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you all. This looks very tough. <laughs> this looks very, very tough. I'm so indecisive with this, because you guys said that this was like a pretty hard map, and it looks it looks hard. <laughs> this looks brutal, honestly. These pass guys, like, what the hell? Who decided that pass should be a skill on Chapter 2? Like, honestly, I want to meet that guy so I can shake his hand and just say, you know, good job, man. You really made this as difficult as it could possibly be. All right, victory conditions. Defeat the enemy commander. Defeat conditions. De Deltrier, Dimitri falls in battle. The Red Canyon. And this is the first time I have ever been here. It's like walking through a ruin. Yeah, no kidding, man. This place looks barren. Like, nobody's been Let's here in a hot minute. out of the way, Professor. The thieves must have already been driven back. Besides these bandits, I mean. The knights chased us all the way here? <laughs> I love the voice acting in this game so much, dude. It's so emotive. Like, you can tell that Costas is shitting bricks right now. And hey, hey, wait a minute. I don't see any knights on this battlefield. And I thought they said they were going to help us with this fight. What's going on there, Gee, man? Let's get out of here. There's no way we can win again. No green units or nothing. Shut your dumb mouth. Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death. Swear to God, they're going to show up at the last moment and be like, yep, job well done. <laughs> All right, let's give this According a shot. To our information, there is a back road to the west. Let's split up and approach from the west and the front. Let's not. If we advance cleverly, 
We attack from both sides and gain the advantage. That sounds so horrible, Dimitri. Leave I'll the strategizing to me. Present. Yeah, exactly. Before all else, we'll need to cross the bridge. Seriously, we have one Mercedes. I don't know if you noticed. She's not that fast. Like, <laughs> she is the greatest, but she can't just be like here and here at the same time. That's just not gonna work. Now, I'll cut through. Based on you know, my mathematics <laughs> and uh, just general optimism, I guess we should be able to throw Dimitri out here, and he should not die. Because if we unequip the shield, he has 7 attack speed, thanks to the rally boost. Which means he doesn't get doubled by any of these guys. Which is exactly what we're going to do. And we're also going to take Felix and use that curve shot that we unlocked with the steel bow. And do 17 damage, 76% of the time. Good lord, Felix. Please hit. Bad. Okay, so the good thing about this... Is that we get a ton of damage on that guy, and Dimitri can actually kill him if he chooses to attack Dimitri. Uh, of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna not leave Felix on a bow. I'm actually gonna take it away entirely because Ash doesn't have a weapon. Because I, I ended up spending most of my money on other crap. So yeah, Ash is gonna need that. I think. <laughs> I don't care if he's a good unit or not. We're gonna need him on this map. That's for sure. I feel like Ash's biggest problem is that he kind of has. Bowie syndrome, where Here we go. yeah, you could train him and level him up and feed him kills and all that. What should I do? But early game, his chip is just godly. Or at least that's the impression I get. Actually, the guy on the left comes first. Now, as you can see, oh, I guess a crest could have done me in. But as you can see, Felix does not actually kill that guy he weakened with the steel bow. But Dimitri does. But because. Felix doesn't kill him. Even if that guy would have attacked Dimitri, we would have been fine because uh, nobody else could attack Felix from that position. Oh, I can feel it. What a godly level up! Yeah, basically, basically the two brigands couldn't combine on Felix. Speed, but this never gets easier for me. So he can't die from that position. This guy comes from Sylvain at a poor hit rate, might I add. Doesn't really matter. I have a vulnerary, so it's like whatever, really. And I have a whole Mercedes. Yeah, everybody has vulnerabilities. There goes that poison strike. Now what we can do is we can take Ash and we can steel bow this guy. And see, this is what I'm talking about with Ash. He's pretty accurate. 84% with the steel bow. I mean, that's even better than Felix. Oh, we're getting link attacks, of course. Maybe she's, maybe Sylvain should have had a bow too. Hmm. Well, either way, I have like no money, man. And as long as this 84 connects, which it does. We can drop this fool with a net, I think. And that's probably the one we want here. Because she wants experience. She seems like she could be okay. And I mean, she, she, if she's going to keep getting these rallies, I definitely want her to level up at least to uh, gain a class with more mobility, if nothing else. I did it. See? I'm a great oh, yeah. Tell him a net. Blow him up like you blew up the kitchen. Uh, with these two, I think I want to... I want to attack this guy obviously which is why I'm having them equip bows so that whoever does the job will be more accurate thanks to the link attack I, I think I mentioned this but you guys did tell me that it only works as long as you have the option to support the character that you're linking with otherwise it adds no benefit and they actually did patch that so originally like if you played this when it first came out for example any character would grant a link attack hit but now you have to be able to support the person in order to get the boost. Which is a weird thing to change, honestly. I guess maybe they thought it was overpowered, but I'm not sure why. Kind of makes out-of-house recruits a little bit worse in that regard, though. Because they can only link with uh, people they support. These guys have overlapping ranges, so we'll turn these two on. And with this next group so close, I'd really like to, I'd really like to push... I'd like to push Sylvain and I'd like to push Felix because if these guys charge me right now I'm in a horrible spot. Yeah, if these two groups charge me right now, I'm in a horrible spot and these guys have pass on top of that God who <laughs> Who made this good that is a kill. That's what I thought if I advance I Can potentially meet one of the groups head-on if they both start moving that's a really bad look for your boy, <laughs> let me tell you. Let's go, Ingrid! Now, I would have liked to give her the kill, obviously, but I'd also like to get 
Byleth experience because he he's kind of close to promotion. I'd like to get him there before this map is over. And uh, also, this lets me put him more forward, basically. Now, I don't die if I miss this. I still have Mercedes. Not on this turn, but on the following turn, I can still heal back. I don't think Poison Strike goes off on uh, my turn. It's only if he attacks first. And even if I miss, I still have so many people that can finish off 13 health. We don't miss, though, so that's great. Get him out of there. Level up for me. Let's be a good one. Let's match Dimitri. Oh, pretty good. We must all do our part. That is pretty good. Now, I think I bought a training sword. Yeah, I did. Because Costas has a billion attack speed, but I'm not sure that I actually need it now. No, I think I still do. Now, if I would have got strength and speed, I think I could have avoided the double attack. But alas. Now, because that guy's dead, we can actually just charge on ahead. Yeah, Felix can go on ahead. And Cetus can bring you back. In combination with the Vulnerary, that's pretty much a full heal, so... Sylvain is back in action. And we're not looking too bad here. That's one wave down. <laughs> Let's see what's in store for us next, I guess. And let's not forget to do either. I'm hoping that these guys don't charge us at the same time. Here come the thieves. I guess that was enough to aggro them, but it's just the thieves. Oh, bet. Okay, so we can focus on taking these guys out right now. This guy didn't have pass, did he? No. So if I can kill the two thieves... Now, Dimitri actually has 12 whole defense, so these guys are only doing 8 to him total. But if I have Dimitri go after one of these guys, he's going to take no damage. Felix can go after the other. Yeah, we can even do Felix right now, because this curve shot... Wow, he even has a chance to miss these guys. What was their sword avoid? Was it like 30% just from... No, it's 30% total. 16, though, from this skill alone. And that's pretty insane. Rehighlight you. I guess we just go for this guy. And this also puts Felix in a nice spot, too, because... Hold on, do I die to this guy? 12 times 2, no. Okay, and he, like, even if I did, I could just trade away his bow, and he would be fine. So we'll curve shot on you, cannot miss. Lysol, let's get it, big dog. 13 damage. And I think that Annette can rally me. Right, so I can't miss this, or I can't, like, fail to kill him. I do have the Steel Sword, which is enough on its own. 74 versus 85. Uh, okay, well, we, yeah, 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 we have Annette. What if I rally Dimitri? <laughs> Combat Art U, Rast Strike, Steel Sword. I don't think we're hosed if this fails. I mean, it's not a good look, <laughs> that's for sure. But I don't think we're done if this misses. 88%. Rast Strike. Get him out of here. Should I have held back? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Trust me, you're fine. You're fine, Deldre. It seems I've exhausted this time. There's HP plus 5. That's right. That's the first skill you get. And that's actually a pretty good one now that guy did have pass but I don't think he won round status does he or a net for that matter no yeah 285 actually an 85 and an 88 we got this because I rallied I can use smash with the training axe or Dimitri can must he can focus. kill steel damn it dude I wanted to give that to Sylvain yeah, he's only level 2. Come on, Dimitri. That went pretty well, though. This guy's actually still going to go after Felix. I guess just because he'd be left on 1. Now, I don't think that Poison Strike can kill you. At least it can't in Fate, so I assume that that's the same. I hope it doesn't kill me. <laughs> like, that'd be pretty bad. To make it through all of that and then die to a, to a Poison Strike. That'd just be embarrassing. Yeah, I'll stay out of his range with Ingrid in case he changes his mind. And then Ingrid's going to be in range to run up on him no matter what. So here he comes. He's attacking from two range. I guess accuracy is a factor here because otherwise this move makes no sense. That's a level up for Felix. I may just give this to Felix, honestly. Ooh. Stronger, huh? We'll see. More strength is always good. Yeah, thank God you can't die from this. And this group didn't move. And now to do the god. It's time. 
Let's see. Let's say I have 22 attack because I'm about to rally right here. That's 14 damage. 14 damage. God, the dude is so strong. We gotta watch out for this guy. This guy has a battalion. And I do not want to get hit with a gambit, dude. Yeah, so if I move out here with no shield, I don't get doubled. And I do, what, 12? Yeah, so Sylvain does 19 even with the Tempest Lance. So I can move there with myself. Yeah, let's do that. Heal up. And it looks like they're going to go after Dimitri, actually. Uh, if I if I allow Dimitri to be doubled... Actually, it says if I do this, they're still going to go for me. But that's better, because Dimitri takes less damage. See so yeah, how we do that. Can't take much more. Uh, we can move Sylvain out. Yeah, okay, I see how this is going to go. Uh, we move to do here with the training axe, with the iron shield. Annette's going to rally. My like so. Yeah, we put Sylvain over here because he can either kill this guy when he attacks. Uh, or he's actually going to stay the course and attack to do. Do I want that? Maybe I should have let them go for Dimitri. Because I want the like the majority of my characters to go north. Obviously. Uh, we take you out, though. Next time, bring your friends. Finished already? I was hoping for more of a challenge. That might not have been the way, <laughs> actually. I mean, I'm not going to die, but I'd really rather them attack Dimitri in hindsight. Not I, Like, the dude's not going to die. It's just that... It's just that I want to go north, basically. <laughs> Let me see if I can't manipulate that somehow. And I mean, this is as good as time as any to show how this works, I suppose. So, yeah, call it lame if you want. I wasn't dead there. I just... I want these guys to attack Dimitri, I think, after all. I'll cut through. Or is that not a possibility? What I do? Maybe that's a waste of time. But yeah, I guess you can just go back in time like that. It doesn't look like... Yeah, it doesn't like take one charge for every move you go back, apparently. It just seems like it's uh, one one rewind, one charge. Thank you. So we do want to do that. That's better. Yeah, I, I do want them to come for Dimitri. Because he does more damage. And that also lets me advance more of my characters. Also, I'm a moron. Why didn't I kill this guy with... Why didn't I kill this guy with Ingrid? <laughs> Hello. Uh, we can just use the Tempest Lance. Steel Lance. Variation and knock him out. With Ingrid. My girl... Oh. Come on. I didn't want to level her up anyways. That's fine. I wanted Felix kind of in the back at this point because he's very low and he has he has three range either way so it's not like that really matters just wrath strike with you this has a much better chance of going my way as it does excellent so yeah we weren't in real, we, we like weren't in a lot of danger there he already said that here we go and now Sedez can bring you back just a little bit thanks yeah, that's the only unfortunate thing about missing there. I would have I would have had him use I'll a vulnerary. We can bring Ash in a little bit too. Yeah, I think this will work a little bit better than what we had. Two guys on to do just seems worse. Again, not for his health, not like he would die, but just in general. It just seems worse. Because that means I have to divide I have to send more people to the left, essentially, and I don't want to do that. I'd rather have as many people as I can go north. Because that's where the boss is. And that's where our problem is going to be. Now, we do actually connect that. I don't think it really matters if we do or if we don't. It just means that uh, we can keep moving, <laughs> essentially. And now, let's see. A gambit here might be really good. On the other hand, it could be really bad because we could just miss. <laughs> and that would not be great. Stay focused. Now, if I put my shield back on, how do these guys do against myself? I have 9 defense. That's 14 damage. All right. Well, Sylvain, though. Sylvain can do this. Actually, the, the uh, iron might be enough. Yeah, the iron is enough. Okay, Sylvain. Big dog. Knock his ass out of here. Put him into the dirt. I never want to see that Big guy dog. again. Because he is scary. Ooh. I had to do it. Don't hate me, please. Who can hate you, Sylvain? Now, how much are we doing? With the do. Training ass smash is 11. Iron axe smash is 13. So if we can get him down to 13... Just to double check. All right, let's think about this very carefully. Now, this guy has seven attack speed, and I can throw him out here after healing with Sedis, who does not get one-rounded. 
barely, barely, but she doesn't. Yeah, she takes 22. Actually, Annette doesn't get one-rounded either. She survives on one. Even if I didn't get the boost from the Mets Hall, she would still live. So that's good. I can definitely kill those two guys on the left. Like, that's not an issue. So I will heal Dimitri. Like so. Quite helpful. I should get one of their attention. Yeah, I just realized now I'm committed. <laughs> yeah, now I'm committed. Now I have to kill one of these guys. Oops. <laughs> yes. But not before... Okay, hold on. Not before I kill these jokers. So, we'll take a net. We'll hit this guy. We stole this treasure. <laughs> it's all ours. There's no way we're gonna give it up to some knight. What's up with this guy's voice? We stole this treasure. Well, then it's not technically yours. Now is it? So, we hit that guy real good. We can re-equip these bows right quick so that when Ash goes for his curve shot right here. Like so. 88. Honestly. Okay, so let's say he's here. Next turn, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I also wish Ingrid had a bow. <laughs> Come to think of it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll curve shot right here. I don't think this makes a difference. If that next group uh, at the end of the bridge starts moving, I think the Ash is still close enough to be useful. I want to send him to the north, too. One hit. Well played, kid. Well played. I actually gave him the battalion because I figured he would be seeing a lot of fighting just for his uh, just for his chip, really. And it seems like that was the case because he just leveled up, so seems like that's working out. Yeah, we can hit you real good. Like so. Get out of here. One for to do with the god himself. Now, that guy dropped an item, a chess key in this case, which is even better. Yeah, because otherwise I would have had to have Ash double back. I know Still what a chess key is, game. I hope. Still holding sound. Well, no, not anymore. I'm pretty sure you just split that guy in two. But other than that, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, so no matter how I decide to proceed from right here, Wrath Strike is good enough. Fr from the uh, from the training sword, I mean. With the crest! Yeah, we were already at full, so that doesn't matter like at all. But, it's a nice thought. Level up for me, Geralt's Battalion. Okay. That's yeah, getting a little bit better. Now, how is the gambit here? 70% versus... Versus 80%. Yeah, I think that Tempest Lance is what we want. I really wish I would have had the better iron on Dimitri. But hindsight is 2020. Tempest Lance is what we want, though, because... Oh, my God. Dude, come on. I don't have that much money right now. What are you doing, Dimitri? Oh, there's C-Rank Lances, at least. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Oh, my God, this guy. Yeah, I don't know why this took me so long. This guy in combination with the mage can actually not kill Deldre. And this guy in combination with the mage again cannot kill Dimitri. Stay vigilant. That guy, however, can definitely kill Felix. So Felix is a little bit out of position, but not to a grave degree. She doesn't have fire equipped? Why not? I already learned it. Why doesn't it auto equip? Oh, that is... That's that's horseshit. Hold on, she should have had that equipped. How does she not have that equipped? Or does it just do that? Because I used heal, it's not... No, I don't remember it working like that, unless they changed that too. I mean, I guess they could have. And I can't, like, trade her to it, right? No, not really. I mean, I could curve shot just for the sake of... Allowing myself to use the iron. Yeah, so we'll do that. Man, I'm not gonna be able to chip this guy now, though. Maybe this one. That's pretty sick, though, Felix. If that chip ends up being the difference, I mean, I could always just. Yeah, I mean, I could always just reset. I really thought she had the fire equip. I don't know why she didn't. I just learned the spell. Why wouldn't it auto equip? She has no other items. I can't relax here. We need to prepare for our next battle. Tell him, Ingrid. She's very no-nonsense. 
So yeah, instead of having any weapon, I just have to take the damage head on. How lame is that? Like I say, if I actually need the damage, I can just, I can rewind. Because that's, that's bullshit. Come on. Is there anybody who thinks I didn't want a weapon there? Honestly. I don't know why it would work like that. I actually don't think that miss matter. Or, I, I don't think not having the weapon matters, basically. Although it is very strange, and it would have been another chance to, like... It basically could have made up for a potential miss. But, I mean, we'll, we'll roll with it, I suppose. We can do, like, so... Do I have a better Iron Lance? I don't think that I do. I think it's on Sylvain, actually. Sure enough. Kind of unfortunate, but I needed to kill that guy. Did you see him? He was scary. I mean, let's do it. 76%. Let's go, Ingrid! Oh, my girl. Now, we did still have... Uh, Felix. And Felix could not miss if I moved here in curve shot, so that was fine. But that's 10 health on Dimitri that I don't want to spend, so we'll spend the health on Felix. Curve shot to not miss. Or can I even miss from here? Yeah, I can, so curve shot it is. Man, I'm just spamming these combat arts, but I don't care, man. This is the most reliable thing we've got, honestly. So we take the 7, but I can just heal Felix back right now. Dimitri. Can I Night Kneel? Oh, you know what? If I would have traded the other... Yeah, if I would have traded the other Lance, I would have been good. Uh, 95 is plenty, though. 95 is plenty. Uh, let's heal first. Do you want to heal Felix, or...? Yeah, let's heal Felix. He's very, <laughs> very low. So we heal Felix. Steal Lance. Dimitri. Night Kneeler, because it's... Okay, so Night Kneeler is more accurate, so we're going to go with that. Yeah, 98% now with uh, with Mercedes. So yeah, if this is missed, like, what can I do, honestly? <laughs> yeah, really. Who's next? So there's level 5 for your boy. Strength, strength, strength. Yes, yes, this I guy. Keep aiming higher. This guy. And there's HP plus 5. Yes, sir. Be yes, sir. Okay. We're looking great. And uh, I'm just going to move in here, I think. Now, this guy can't hit Cetus, right? Good. I didn't think so. That, <laughs> that'd be, like, from way downtown, man. Uh, oh, let's watch their attack speeds, though. So, they have a lot. <laughs> they have an awful lot, in fact. Now, I guess the question is, how much punishment can I really take here? I have no shield and 33 health to play with. You have got to be joking. I'm one health away from being able to take them both. I feel like I'm thinking so intensely about this map. This is chapter two? Are you sure? Are you sure this isn't endgame? Holy shit, man. Uh, but this guy, yeah, he would double me, which would do me in. Because, yeah, even the game's like, no, are you sure you want to do that, Deldra? Yeah, I don't think that I do. Like, if I'm to believe the game, this is my move. And I, I'm so curious about the AI. I'm so curious about how smart the AI is. Does it recognize this as a kill? Or not? I know you. I know for a fact. I know I keep saying it, but I know you guys sit and lie sometimes. But I really want to figure out what that situation is, like what causes it, because that could be useful. I think, kind of like how learning the AI in New Mystery is like essential, basically. So I guess we will do this. I still have two pulses, one from my own mistake, and this guy actually blocks himself off. So. Yeah. I can't be hit by two of these guys. Oh, no, 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 no. I can. So I'm thinking that the game should recognize this as a kill and switch the targeting. It does. Okay, I really just wanted to know that. Forgive me, everyone. My battle is I mean, I get three of these things, so I might as well use it for some testing, right? Yeah, so that's how that goes. I kind of figured that's what would happen, but now I know. That being the case, I can move here. Uh, iron sword, no shield. Yeah, I can still move here, though. This is a valid move. And vulnerary. Okay, I just had to know, because if I didn't figure that out now, you know, you just know I'd be screwed by that, like, five chapters from now, or whatever. So, we gain that knowledge. We know that the AI is smart enough to recognize a kill. And we can use that in the future to our advantage, basically. 
So Dimitri's taking a beating for no particular reason, but what could I do? <laughs> Honestly, in a perfect world, right? We could kill all of these guys without using myself, because then I could push on ahead. And I noticed that Costas has a like he has a movement range now, so I assume that he will move. And if I could get by without wasting my own turn, I could go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and pull Costas. And then we could just gang up on him, basically. Well, let's do I the do? easy stuff. I noticed that Dudu can just sneak right on by. Middle Gear Dudu. I'm on it. Uh, Sylvain. I, I should keep him back in case this guy starts moving, I guess. And I don't see him catching up to this group either way, so I'll there's no real own. sense in moving him. With Ash, we have some options. Is Felix really that strong? Oh, hold on. Hold on now. Hold, hold, I say. Uh, do you think that Ash, if dealing three less damage, no, he only deals seven with the Iron Bow? Holy shit, Ash. <laughs> well, but that saves me the most actions, though, right? Oh, my God, Mercedes is out of heals. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I didn't even think about that. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay, you have a defense, right? A defense. A defense. Okay, so here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to trade bows with Ash. Then, combat arts. This curve shot is so good. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked that up on Felix because, good God, this accurate ship damage, man, it is so good. Three range on top of that? Good Lord, this can't be beat. It just can't be beat. Uh, but with that, we can now take the steel bow. We can trade off bows. Let's do like that. Yeah, actually, I want Deltre to have both vulnerabilities. And then we will use the curve shot with the steel bow, which gives us just enough firepower to knock this guy on his ass. So let's do just that. Felix the Broken. Back at it Next again. Next time, bring your friends. Next time, bring your friends. Try a little harder, huh? And now, Dimitri can come up and smash this guy. Is Night Neil enough? Because if so, I'm going to do that for the accuracy. Not quite. Yeah, hate to see it. Yeah, really do, but 91% ain't bad. If I was really good, I would have left the bow on Deltre. But I am trash. We take him out. Okay. Is that all? That's what I'm saying. D plus authority. Okay, okay. Authority level 2. What that? More accuracy, I guess? Oh, speaking of which. But specifically, Authority Level 2 does what now? Plus 4 might with Gambits. I guess it was maybe less before. With a net. We can rally your girl. And this is the only thing that really sucks, is that I wanted to get this kill with Ingrid, but I literally cannot. Literally can't, so we have to... I could have taken... I could have at least given him the bow back. I'm so trash. Yeah, because this should be 81. This should be 81, which is a little better. But if I can hit this, which I think we did. Oh, yes, we did. I don't know. Maybe the crest can go off without getting a hit. I'm not entirely sure. But. Oh, Ingrid. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. All that leads to this. Which, I mean, I don't have to do this, obviously. Like, if... If I'm destined to miss this, I, I don't know if you can use the thing to re-roll or not. I know in Echoes it was weird because sometimes you could and sometimes you couldn't. But if this happens to miss, I can always take this guy out with Deltray. We still have one charge left. And I don't I don't really want to spam the Divine Pulse or anything like that. But I'm still kind of learning the game. So I, there's some things that I want to clarify for myself before I go, like, balls to the wall. Mainly with the targeting. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, that was a great level. That was a great level. The goddess blesses them to rest in peace. God, you see, you say that after incinerating him. But we can do one of those moves. Yeah, Sylvain not doing a whole lot here, I'll be honest. And now, here's the question, right? So I was thinking that with the second vulnerary, I can just eat the double attack. Because he'll do 23. I have how much protection? I have uh, 9 protection, so that's 28 damage. I guess I didn't need the vulnerary. Uh, failing that, I can still use a curve shot. Yeah, I can actually still use a curve shot with Felix. 
Uh, take the iron bow with Dimitri right now. Or even just shoot him. Actually, that might just straight up be better. I want to give the kill to myself, though, because I think you can promote at level 5. And the only other thing we could do... Is, like, try to try to kill this guy somehow. I don't know how I'd be doing that exactly. And we're going to put this plan into motion. So, I'm going to move here. And I'm actually going to use the iron sword after all. Just for a little bit more accuracy. Because I can rally for Felix. And if I rally for Felix, it's the same thing, essentially. Just to double check. I have 9 protect. 28. Yeah, no crazy skills. So, there's 28 damage to my dome. But we'll be okay. Felix can move in. And I like that they put this little blind spot for the archer there. So we can actually do this fairly safely. Uh, we'll trade off the training bow, I suppose. Give that boy to Felix. And I just want the iron bow for the extra damage. We should be good against the boss here. Now, I can just put a net right here. And maybe this guy goes for... I don't know. The AI is kind of weird. We've seen. Like, they... I, I don't know what they're trying to do. Honestly, it just seems like maybe accuracy is a consideration for them. And everybody else can just kind of hang out. Oh, don't forget to do. He's got to get this chest. Which is going to be a large bullion. Hey, not bad. Considering I have no money. <laughs> like, Ash started this map without a weapon. Let's not forget. It can't be. The mercenary from before? So what now? Your pals with the knife? <laughs> uh, I'll kill you and your pesky brats. Better men than you have tried. So we're gonna do seven here. But if I use a net to rally for Felix, like I say, we make up that damage really easily. Yeah, he does actually attack from two range, which is very strange. But that may allow us to get this to Ingrid, which I really want to give this to Ingrid. Yeah, I really, really do. She kind of got robbed because I'm bad. <laughs> she should have got at least one more kill here. Possibly more. If I would have been really trying. Uh-oh, that guy's going to come for to do. I don't know how well this is going to go, but there's actually nothing lost. He can't even crit me, so I might as well give this an attempt. With Ash. Okay, we miss. <laughs> so that's how that goes. Oh, he misses too. Yeah, now everybody just looks bad. Well, I'm glad that Ash missed the ball, people, rather than, uh, you know, missing an important attack on the boss or whatever. <laughs> so we rally for Felix. Move your curve shot. I doubt this can miss. Yeah, 17 damage. I might be able to just drop him myself. Of the means they've underestimated me. Big mistake. <laughs> You're underestimating Felix, I think. Do you know who this guy is? He just beat this map by himself, pretty much. Hey, level 4 for Felix. Maybe it's possible to promote him, too. Ooh, strength defense. Not good enough. I don't know, man. Strength is pretty good. I don't know if anybody told you, but it's one of the most important stats. And, I mean, I have all kinds of options, but realistically, my best bet is to just give it to myself. Uh, Mercedes can't be crit, so we might as well do this. My lord, this guy is the final boss. Why didn't they put this one on the throne? He's way more dangerous than Costas. So I got a power level Ingrid, I think, on the next few maps. But that shouldn't be too hard. Ingrid can't be crit either, so I'm just gonna do it for experience, hopefully. Finally, we hit this guy with something. We can get all of five points as well. And I mean, I will shoot just for the sake of getting boss experience. Spoiled little noble, just die like a good little rich kid. Unfortunately for you, I will not oblige. You will regret all that you have done. That's right, Dimitri, make him pay. Make him pay for this map. Somebody's gotta pay. Uh, and now. With the Steel Sword, with the Del Trey, with the Finisher. Good. Bye! Uh, I should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. He straight up told you you were gonna die, dude. I don't know what you thought was gonna happen, but. Level up strength. Oh, yes! Such power dwells within. Such power dwells within. Yes, Del Trey. We have defeated the thieves. We'll follow the knight's instructions for what to do next. You let us well, Professor. Well, I don't mean to brag, but... Map clear. MVP Dimitri. I can see that, yeah. He killed, like, <laughs> something every turn, basically, so... Yeah, makes sense. Whew, so that one, right? That was definitely a lot harder than the previous map. I have to say that right now. 
I don't think it was necessarily too, too bad, but I will admit, I spent a good amount of time just thinking on that one. Just thinking, and that's exactly what I loved. That's exactly why I picked Maddening Mode to begin with, because that's where I really find a lot of enjoyment with the gameplay of Fire Emblem, right? If I don't have to really think about what I'm doing, it's just not as much fun for me. And good god, that map felt like it had it all! <laughs> honestly, Pass Guys on Chapter 2, Poison Strike, a pretty scary boss, honestly. I got doubled, let's not forget. But it doesn't feel overtuned necessarily, because all of my characters can uh, take at least one round with an enemy. Even the net isn't one rounded on this map, so that's that's great, honestly. Makes it not so punishing, so you can make one mistake uh, once in a while, right? And you're not instantly dropped just because you perhaps overlooked one enemy or, you know, just something like that. Whereas if this were Awakening, you would just get body back, like straight up. If you weren't Frederick, you just get body backed immediately. I like the fact that everybody is useful. Everybody on that map contributed something, you know what I mean? I, I kind of misplayed Sylvain a little bit, I think, uh, but even he scored himself a kill. Could have had more if I decided to favor him, honestly. Like, realistically, Ingrid could have done everything that Sylvain did, and vice versa. Uh, even Ash chipped God himself, and that's kind of what I was saying with I feel like he has Bowie Syndrome because he, like, his chip is just so valuable that feeding him kills doesn't seem realistic. And that's, that's kind of one thing I'm noticing on this mode is that you really need to get that chip damage because enemies are so strong. Like I say, they don't one-round you, but they're they're beastly nonetheless, honestly. Definitely curious to see how this is going to play out moving forward. And I guess next time it's, uh, ooh, uh poor Ash, man. <laughs> but we'll see that when we see that. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like rating. Let me know your thoughts as well. I'll be bringing back, uh, just, you know, just some of my favorite comments for the next one you can see if we can't share some of those <laughs> i always did like doing that anyways i will catch you guys on the next one see you then peace